How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People. And right now I'm on my way to the gym, so I'm driving. So when I'm in the car, I like to do these little short videos. So I'm going to start doing a quote of the day to have a great day. So whenever you see me in my car, it'll probably be a quote. Uh, so today's quote is, don't condemn yourself. Try to understand yourself. So, you know, I think many of us have the habit that whenever we do something that we perceive as either being bad or dumb or stupid, you know, we will condemn ourselves for it. But that gets us nowhere, you know. What we really need to do is try to understand ourselves, try to understand our behavior. So in order to do that, we really need to learn how to properly observe ourselves, which means being able to use our attention in a way where we try to observe our bodies, our emotions, our thinking, our sensations in a objective way, which means that we keep our attention free and not let it get identified to what it's observing. Because once you do that, you're at that level. You're at the level of thought. So as soon as you condemn yourself, you're back at that level and you'll just keep going around in circles and you'll never really solve anything or get any understanding because of your identification to what you're condemning. It'll just keep you at that same level. So as soon as you're able to use your attention in a way where you can moment to moment observe what's going on within you in a way that you don't judge anything you observe as either being good or bad. Your goal is just simply to see clearly what's going on. See your behavior clearly. Because you know what a lot of us do is we uh, you know we have some blind spots that we will only see ourselves in a certain way. So that's why other people sometimes have better insight into our behavior because they're not so close to the problem so they can see our behavior in an objective way and you know a lot of us will have certain images that we're really identified to let's say that I believe I'm a very smart and punctual person so anything contrary to that I will not see and on the occasions that I say I'm late I will be able to rationalize and rationalize just means that you're able to put yourself in the right no matter what contrary to any evidence so as soon as you're able to observe yourself clearly and you're able to strengthen your attention so that you can get enough material so that you can do it for long periods of time you'll start to really get an accurate picture of who you really are, how you really act, how you really think, how you really feel. And with that knowledge comes understanding. That's like the quote says, you know, don't condemn yourself, understand yourself. Because in understanding yourself, then a lot of the idiosyncrasies that you may have or this behavior that you condemn yourself for you'll get really deep insight into the reasons why you do it you know a lot of our behavior that we do is unconscious so as soon as you bring that to the light a lot of our behaviors uh, will will change on their own will drop away and I'm just talking generally you know there's obviously some of us have had some really uh, painful and deep experiences that may require different approaches and more work. But you know, a lot of our little idiosyncrasies, just by shining a ray of consciousness on them, will begin to drop away. So that's the message for just for today. You know, don't condemn yourself because that that's really going to get you nowhere, and it will stop any uh, further growth part will stop you from understanding your behavior 
understanding why you do the things you do. So instead, seek to try to understand yourself. And do it in a way that, yeah, you don't judge or condemn yourself for anything. Your goal is just simply to get a clear look at who you really are because you, you need to understand that in getting a clear look is when real change is possible. Alright guys, hope you're having a great day. Take care. Peace.